Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to my Gondo campaign for Divide and Conquer with the AGO and SUS sub mod. Previous episode, we finally got besieged by this Doom stack. We're going to try and defeat it with the powerful army that we have inside here. I'm feeling confident. I'm really feeling confident here. And Faramir is going to take Captain Horsegris down. Uh, <clears throat> these guys are not in a big army. These are tough troops, but they are in a s small army. So we're going to take advantage of that and utterly annihilate them. And also, one thing that you guys have wanted me to do for quite some time now is to get the port at Londgalen. And uh, I know it doesn't show. That's why I haven't gotten it yet, because it doesn't really show any good economical gain here. But you guys have said that it doesn't matter. This is not correct. It's going to give more wealth than this. So I'm going to trust you guys. I'm going for the port at Long Garden. I'm going to queue it up as well, because we want this one as soon as possible. Because if you guys are correct, we're going to give we're going to get a lot of wealth from that. We're besieging Hatha Nur. We're under siege over here by Captain Hashim after the cheeseburger victory I had in the last episode with Imrail. This time they have a lot less cavalry, a lot less, less archers, so I think my cavalry can do insane amounts of damage here before the battle begins against these guys, so I think we should be able to win this battle here. Not feeling that afraid. And we should really get some more troops. These archers are on the way. Uh, we can't reach in this town, so we're going to send them to this fort for now. I think we should do the same with the Pelagian Marines, because if we take Hatha Nur, Pelagir is no longer going to be a frontier region. So we're going to send these guys into the fort here as well. And we're going to move them into Tirithoros after this battle, because we need them there. Um, we desperately need them there. And also... As soon as this turn is ended, we're going to retrain the boats and uh, go for the High Elven mission there so that we get another boat. And then we're going to rush back. We need to rush back over here because <clears throat> I'm afraid that there might be an Adonaim force coming up the river here. But without further ado, I'm... S <coughs> Bloody hell. Oh my god. <coughs> No excuse me, Jesus Christ. <laughs> My throat um, is not good. Let's uh, <laughs> let's uh, attack Captain Horsgris here before we end the turn because we want to get rid of this army. Let's go ahead and take him down. Alright, start deployment. Once again, we want to try and minimize our casualties. We do not want to use these melee troops at all, actually. Um, not these cavalry units either. Let's use the generals only and the archers. We have a lot of archers, a lot of solid archers. So we're going to try and destroy them with range and cavalry strength. Now these javelins we might use, so we're going to keep them in the back for now. Start the battle. Uh, let's just uh, form the archers up over there. And uh, cavalry you can also move up if you want to. They have... Ideally, we kind of want to get rid of these Varag Bowmen first, because they can actually do some harm to us from range. They're really quite tough, these guys. So if we can bring them down, let's actually try and go in for a charge here. And the Udej Marines that they have, we also need to bring down. I'm going to try and utterly annihilate these archers here. And my archers are probably going to focus first on the marines and then we're gonna focus down whatever because as long as they're only melee and no ranged we're fine uh, take that off and give these bowmen a charge if you can as long as they're not inside of a pike unit we're fine archers are you in position i think you all uh, fire at the marines whenever you're in range going for a charge here there we go Beautiful charge. That was a good charge. Get out, though. Get out. My orders are starting to fire now, so get the hell out of there, cavalry. Oh, we did get some kills there. The pikes are going after my Eorthon uh, Royal Sworn Knights. We need to destroy the archers. 
the artists need to die and the marines needs to die as well. As long as they're not protecting their artists with their pikes, we are going to try and go in there because they can actually fire on us here with their artists, and I, we do not like like that. But Iorthon, if you want to to um, charge the marines here, you can do that. Fire at the bowmen. Actually, archers. You know what? Fire at. Let's group them up. Fire at the little gambrim over there. Okay, we charged the maulers instead, and we did. Devastating damage to them. <laughs> oh, look at the amount of kills we got on them. Oh, my lord. It's just how powerful they are. Uh, you, give them another charge, please. Eorthon, you need to get the hell out of there. Fire at the Gamprim now. Not you, you're going for the, those uh, bowmen. We lost a lot of our uh, cavalry in that charge, though. Which is a shame, but we're going in for the archer here. There we go, we're firing with our missiles, which is not great. Yorthon, I would like you to try and go for the marines here. How many archers do they have? 35 remaining archers. Um, should maybe try and fall back a bit here. Ideally, we kind of need to... Put these archers in front and the ones that cannot replenish in the back. We don't want them to get fired by the marines. We're charging the marines here, but that was not a good charge. We didn't kill a single guy. Uh, where are their archers? Let's charge them again. Let's get, just wipe them out. The two general units will stand in the front tanking uh, these shots from the marines. That's the plan. We need to wipe them out. <coughs> See if we can go in for a quick charge here. Uh, archers, are you forming up? Yes, you are. I think we need to count even further back, actually. There we go. Did get some kills there. Get the hell out of there quickly. Are we destroying these guys? I think we are. Five remaining. We're sending some Gamprim over. Let's run away. Yorthon. See if we can give these Marines a volley. We still have 85 remaining. Only half the enemy force remains. Let's give the Maulers a charge here. Yeah? They're falling back. Good. They're going after my cavalry. Go fire at the Marines, please. We need to wipe them out. There we go. Devastating charge against the Maulers. They're getting shredded here. They're getting absolutely shredded. Let's do an ability popping session here. And uh, they're, they're broken. Good. Now the biggest threat we have on the map is the Marines. Uh, because the pikes are too slow. We can kite them. And we, we do not need to worry about those guys. So fire everything you have at the Marines. Just bring them down. And if we can make these pikes chase away with our cavalry here, Eorthon is going to charge these guys as well. As soon as the pikes are nowhere near the marines, we're going to switch target and fire at the Gamprim instead. But the marines are following. They're pursuing. Let's see, where is Eorthon? Let's see if we can disturb these marines a bit here. This is going rather well, I think. We're doing rather well. We've lost 3% of our army. There we go. Did some damage there. Get the hell out of there. You can keep kiting. 27 marines remaining. Good. We're getting there. And once they only have the Gamprim remaining, we are just... This is just going to be a piece of cake. Uh, archers, feel free to go further. No, not you. Uh, you guys, go closer to them. Keep kiting, cavalry. Javelins, you can also start moving up. We want to maybe use you against the Gamprim. As long as the marines are alive, we do not want to, to risk getting shot by them because they can do a lot of damage. Go for a quick little charge here on the marines because they are out in the open. They are not protected by the Gamprim anymore. So let's go in for a quick little charge here. A wider charge would have been nice there, though. Shaken, but they're not going to break, are they? No, I don't, I don't think so. Get out of there. 
Marines are almost dead. They have 10 guys remaining. Archers are getting closer. Let's see if you can focus these guys down here with archer fire. Um, archers, fire at the gun prim there. Meanwhile, while we kite with Mistven, uh, one of you can fire at the Barak Bowman over there. Just uh, actually, no. We are gonna take care of them with the cavalry here. Eorthon, go in there, smash them. There we go. They're done for. Here comes some gun prim again. Fire at them. Uh, do they still have any marines left? Eight remaining marines. Slow down the speed a bit here. Doing a lot of solid damage to them. Where are those marines? Even though they only have like eight remaining, they can still p do some damage. Four me. Okay, we're killing them with the archer fire here. You're out of ammo. Just keep luring them here. Javelins, I think it is time for you to do some solid throwing here because you can do a lot of damage. Look at the amount of dead golden bodies lying on the ground here. We're doing well. Let's see if we can just give these guys a throw. Maybe break them. This is going to hurt them a lot. Uh, they're probably going to break soon. They're really getting thinned out. Archers. You can focus on this unit now instead. Yeah, it doesn't look too great for them, does it? Um, let's uh, focus on this unit now. Cavalry. They only have nine remaining. I think you should be able to destroy them. Oh, they have some marines left. But they're broken. I think everyone's going to get broken. Yep, they're broken. Good. Go back, cavalry. Javelins. Fire at the gun prim. With the last remaining shots that you have. And we're just destroying them with archer fire and javelin shots here. Absolutely wonderful to see. The power of Gondor is actually the range. Because Gondor really has some decent range troops. Not elven range troops, of course, but they have powerful rangers and yeah they have decent missile troops let's see one more volley from the javelins here there we go they're out of ammunition kite back don't go into a melee with them want to try and avoid that at all cost let's just uh, empty the rest of our ammunition on them here and uh, we should be done We could send in these guys in a melee. As I've said, they're going to regenerate, so... Yeah, you know what, let's send them in. Oh, they're already broken. Let's end the battle. Uh, we lost 32 guys. I think most of those guys were on the Black Root Vale Archers. This, perhaps the general unit, and the White Knights and Royals won guard, so... This was a good battle. We got rid of this captain, and the road towards the Moranon is now free. Well done, Faramir, as always. Well done, well done. That army is now gone. And Faramir, as soon as we have defeated this army, I want you to stand ready. Stand in our territory. Stand ready to strike the Moranon as soon as we have defeated this army. Now, we're going to end the turn. And we're going to face the Doomstack. Possibly. Who knows, they might wait with their attack. So let's end the turn and let's uh, prepare for the Olagai force. Uh, alliance and trade rights with Dale, we're gonna take that. Absolutely. Thank you. Some alliances is always good to have and Dale is actually a nation that can help us. Woodland Realm, we're gonna take that alliance as well and those trade rights. Thank you. And here we go, finally. Radzag is attacking and he brings with him the Ologai army. Uh, the rest of this force is not that great, if I'm perfectly honest, they're quite trash. They have some black orcs, they're decent, but other than that I think this is not the best army in the world. The Ologai is the main problem here of course. Um, 
let's go in and let's wipe out this doom stack kinda let's go in okay let's defend Kirith Ungul shall we uh, the ballista should definitely try and stand somewhere around there for best effect I think they could get some solid shots on there archers um, kind of want you to stand like maybe like this uh, if you can potentially get you in position as I want you to like this yeah like that uh, because I want to have the main fight um, down here and if the artists can fire down there that would be a beautiful thing um, Cavalry, we're gonna use you instantly and try to get some charges off before the battle begins. Over here, the pikes are gonna be a frontline unit. Uh, I think we're just gonna form up the guys when the battle begins because they're gonna, it's gonna take so much time to form them up. So start the battle. Cavalry, get out. Um, Forlong and Citadel Guard stand over there in the back somewhere. Pikes, hold the line. Turtle Guardsmen, you can hold the line as well. Axe throwers, I want you to stand somewhere around there. Fire at them. The reserve Gondor force is going to go back. Good. Let's uh, fast forward. And let's see what we can do here with the cavalry. Uh, also, we should stop firing with the, with the archers. We don't want to waste ammunition yet. Doing solid damage already to the raiders. Keep doing what you're doing. There we go. Another charge, not the best one in the world, but we're trying at least. There we go. The more units we can wipe out with the cavalry, the better, of course. Wonderful charge. That was a good charge. Go for the archers now. Give them a solid charge. They're firing at us. But it doesn't matter. There we go. Good charge there, Royal Guard. Still haven't lost a single horse unit here. Let's keep on go going with the these guys a little bit more. Want to avoid the space though. There we go, we lost one guy there. Kite away from those archers, please. They're actually hurting us a bit. We want to try and save our ammunition, but we, we could get some shots in here if we wanted to. Yeah, you have a perfect opportunity to fire here. So, just shoot at whatever you can. There we go. Ah, it's not worth it. It's not worth to fire from here. We're not getting enough kills with the shots. These archers, though. Interrupt them. There we go. Trying to do as much damage as we can with the cavalry here. Wonderful job there. Ah, it's dangerous going in against the space though. I think we've done enough here. Uh, go back inside before they reach us with the ram. Cavalry, you have killed 12% of their army already. That's actually quite good. So, go back inside and prepare for their attack. What do we have here? Some swords, okay. I think we should step back a little bit with these guys, ideally. You're gonna stand over there, axe throwers. I want you to throw at the Ologai. Are we in range with the Ologai yet? They're quite close, but we're not in range. Barely. We're barely there. I mean, how could we send the Ballista to be most... Could we send them over on the flank here, perhaps? Like like this, maybe? Not sure. Fire at them around a guard, then, if you can. Just to do something while we wait for them. There we go. We're getting some casualties on them. I really kind of want to go for their all the guys. There. We're, we're not going to use all of them. No, we shouldn't use the ammunition. Uh, is there any place where we could stand with the ballista that would be 
effective. Could we stand there? And try and aim for the Ologite. This m There might be some friend of fire here involved. The but, uh, we're going to try. We could try and position ourselves over here with the Ballista as well. It could be better, actually. Or we should stand over here and fire at them when they arrive, but I don't think we're going to have enough time to get shots off. They're going to be too fast for us to load up the shots. And they're going to be in here too fast. And you, don't fire. Do not fire. We want to wait with the ammunition on the Olo guy. You have armor-piercing shots that we want to use. The the okay, they've broken through. We're in range for the... Uh, don't go forwards, please. Oh, Lord. Lord. No. Stop. Go go in there, melee forces. Block these guys. Block these guys. Save the ballista some time here. Stand over there, ballista. There we go. Block them where they are now. Archers. Fire the black Uruks. For now. Ballista. There we go. Form up over there. And... Fire at the Olo guy, please. No, take control over the, these things. Ah, Lord. Get away from there. Get away from there. Get away from the battle. Take control over the rams. And fire at the Olo guy. <laughs> they're doing it. Come on. No, they're getting... Ah, oh, Jesus. Take control of it and try and go away then instead. Move away. Go further away with the bloody ballista, please. Move away from that. Yep. Yeah, take control over it and go away. Fire at the Ologai with the axe throwers. There we go. That's good. Yeah, get away from them. Get away with the ballista. Fast. <laughs> Come on, guys. Get the hell out of there. <laughs> Get out the... Oh, I hate ballistas. I hate them. I really hate them. Because they're so clunky. They are... What? They're turning around and going back and... Oh my god, guys. Come on. Oh, it's, oh my god. They're stuck. If we can get them out, though. We're doing some good damage to them, though, with the axe throwers. Yeah, 11. Yeah, we're doing good. Ballista, bloody hell, get the fuck out of there. I'm getting so pissed here, I'm getting so pissed. Come on, yes, you're on your way. Just step aside and... But this one is moving and blocking the path for the other ballistas to move. Come on, guys, please. <laughs> Come on, get out. Yes, we're getting out. Get the hell out of there. Come on. The axe throwers have, have done well, though, against the older guy. We killed one of them with them. Keep firing. The ballista is actually out. Good. Good. But they're breaking through. Uh, I think we're going to have to send in some reinforcements soon. Archers. Fire at will. Fire down there somewhere. Okay, ballista is actually out. Okay, form up over here. This is a good spot. Send in some more troops. Before long you're going to join the battle as well. The ballista is free and these guys are soon out of ammunition. Keep firing on those Olo guys, though. There we go. One more volley. Ten remaining. We're doing well with these axe throws. They're actually really good. And if the Ballista can get, get up over here, we should be fine. We've lost 5% of our army. Still an ability pop here. Ballista, come on. Get into formation, please. Oh, Lord. But they are getting there. But it's taking a long time, though. It's taking a long time, but they are trying. They're trying their best. This one is glitched out there. Well, they're actually breaking through. Okay, good. Okay, can we get some shots in here now? No? There's one ballista dude inside of the battle, I think, somewhere. Get the lads up here. There's someone in here. There has to be, because it says that they're fighting. You can move back. Seems to be one ballista crew member. 
in the ba yeah he's dead now go and grab the ballista this time now come on and fire finally we're fine here they only have six older guys remaining the artists are firing from up here down there that's good everything is going as planned but the ballista is not doing what we want them to do but I think we're in a good position now with them just fire down there and their morale is gonna take a big hit we just need to fire we have one loaded come on come on guys release just fire at anything whatever you want as long as you fire at them come on release your shots Ah, oh, they're not firing. They're standing there loaded, but they're not firing. Can we move a little bit closer to the edge? Oh, this is so dangerous. Just to move a little bit with them and maybe... If this one... Yeah, this is moving perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. And fire. Fire, 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 fire. This one should surely be able to fire from this position. I think. Uh, you're doing a 360 spin here. Not sure why you're doing that, but uh, okay. Come on, something. Yeah. No, come on. Oh my lord. Oh, I hate these ballistas. I re we have a perfect position here, but they're refusing to fire. Come on. Please, do something. This is the thing, these things are so unreliable, and now they're passing through the walls. Can we fire from here then? Just do something, guys, please. Try something. For the love of God, pop the ability again. Yeah, one is trying to fire, but are they going to fire? I don't think so. Try. Come on. A lot of them are shaken. If we can get one shot off... There we go. We're killing our own guys though because they're completely glitched out. But it doesn't matter. Keep firing. I don't care. There we go. We're firing, but at what effect? Nothing. We're doing nothing, it feels like. Look at this, what is this? <laughs> well, just fast forward this pal, because uh, we have... W yeah, we're winning, they're broken now. Um, the Ballista is so unreliable, it's so hard getting them into the perfect spot. They're broken, you have done enough Ballista, we're not going to use you anymore, you're just giving me a big headache here. I hate the Ballistas, when, when they are not in position to fire, it's so bloody irritating to control these units it really is their entire force seem to be almost broken now let's uh, go for an ability pop here and let's just wipe these last guys out because I think we have this in the bag now looks like a lot of them are broken but they still have some fighting guys walk oh, ban but they're shaking now they should break soon as well I think we're just slaughtering everything in our path. Keep doing exactly what you're doing, guys. Push through and annihilate this entire orc fo force, please. There we go. Have some orc archers there. We need to destroy as well. A lot of experience for these guys in this battle. <laughs> Absolutely, we're getting a lot of experience here with these kills. These pikemen have gotten a lot of kills, I think. Enemy general fallen as well. Now they are absolutely going to break swiftly. Take that away. Let's kill these last orc archers. They're already broken. But they're standing there. We'll just kill them all then. There we go, they're finally fleeing. They still have their Uruk guys here. As soon as they're in range, fire at them. 
continue like this, we will smash the Give them some volleys before they charge, my guys. There we go. Okay, you can stop now. Going for the flank. Forlong. Cavalry, you can mo move out if you want to charge down these orc archers. Forlong, flank these guys. Oh, they're just pushing through. They're just trying to push here. Okay. Oh lord. This battle could have gone better, I think. Uh, but the, the Ballista didn't want to cooperate with me here. We're actually losing a lot of guys here with their pushing. Charge these orc archers down, please. They're still fighting. These guys are still in the fight. Send in the Citadel Guard, please. Yeah, we've broken the archers. These Black Kuroks are still... Wait, there we go. End the battle. Oh, 4 and 26 losses. That is quite a lot, actually. And it was... We did defeat the army, but... Uh, uh, the Ballista, man. We could have gotten a lot better results from that. Uh, it didn't perform as I wanted it to perform. Axe, Guards of Losarnak, though. Heroes. Truly heroes of the battle. Forlong, you're a monster. Well done. This full stacked doom stack is out of the way now, which is great. Well done, Forlong. There we go. Execute them all. They are wiped out. Good job there. That doom stack has been destroyed. Okay. Something positive. And now we have this army to deal with. Uh, we have some cab we can use. This is also a dangerous, but they have the captain in this Muad Beastmaster unit. That is a plus. It's going to be easy to bring them down here. So, uh, yeah. He's going to die. My cavalry is going to do a lot of work. They still have a lot of pikes, though, and that is a problem. But uh, we're going to go in and... Uh, we're going to do everything we can to to win. Let's uh, go into battle. Let them have it, man. Okay, okay, let's do this. Let's try and do this the finer way this time and not uh, the uh, cheeseburger way like we did the last time. Uh, I mean, the last time it was kind of funny. It was heroic. It was heroic that he was the last guy alive and he managed to clinch the victory. It was heroic, but uh, this time we don't want to do it. It was funny the first time, but uh, if it happens again, we're just gonna let go of him and let him die instead, uh, because it's really cheesy what I did in the previous battle. Uh, let's start the battle and let's uh, go out and uh, destroy everything in our path, shall we? First unit, they have some Hashari blades here. Let's see what we can do against them. Let's uh, wipe them out. There we go. Totally dealt with already. Mm, we have some... Oh, they're chasing after us. Their captain is chasing after my cap. Let's go in. Let's go and try and wipe them out. Go and wipe out these last Hashari dudes first. There we go. Seven remaining. Can you please get rid of these guys? They're, kept, they're actually destroying my cab here. <laughs> Get rid of these Hashari blades. The captain should die at any second. He should. He's surrounded by my cab. Kill him. Come on. Uh, go and wipe out these archers, please. Just, there we go. The captain is dead. Wonderful. Wonderful. Good job. See if we can wipe out those archers. There we go. Good. You can finish them off, Squires. And Imrahil, uh, they're sending forth uh, some warband on the ram. Let's see if we can destroy them as well. Let the Squires deal with the archers here. Yeah, they have six archers. They should be able to destroy them, hopefully. Go for the warband. Interrupt them. The archers are done with. Well done. Form up over there. We're interrupting these guys. Hopefully we can do a devastating amount of damage on them. There we go. Wonderful. Get that out of there though. Don't linger with these spears. We need to get out. Took some losses there. Lost two units. A 
but we weakened that unit. The forces of Harad, they have large forces. They really have their units, 202 spears. They, they, they have large, really large uh, units. So there's a lot of troops we need to wipe out here. But we've done well this far. Let's see if we can go for the Trollman Champions here. That was a good charge against them. That was a really good charge against them. But get the hell out of there fast. These pikes, though, they're a problem. They're a real problem. Lost one cavalry unit there. Two cavalry units, actually. These guys are going for the ram. Interrupt them. Uh, squires, feel free to charge these serpent bladesmen in the back. They have their backs to us. Let's charge them in the back. Go for the spears here again. There we go. We've interrupted them. Get out. Stop firing. No, don't do that. Just stop firing. Trollman champions are charging after us. More southern warband. I really would like to sandwich these bladesmen, if we could, with the cav. They're quite tough. If we can bring them down, that would be beautiful. Oh, okay. We actually got caught there by, by some champions. Not good. Okay, what I wanted to do now is to sandwich these bladesmen. Both of you. This should be devastating. Yeah, there we go. That was a good charge. Good charge. Get out. Here comes the squires as well. There we go. There we go. Good job. Get the hell out. Both of you. Yeah, we almost wiped out the, the entire units. Uh, interrupt the warband there. Let's see what we can do here, Southern Warband. If you can charge them in the back, Squires, you can probably do some damage to them. We have killed 20% of their army. We're doing work. Are they going to get stuck here on the ram? No, probably not. The enemy are battering down the gates. There we go, another devastating charge. Good job. You did charge them. Get out, though. Oh, they actually managed to turn against us. That's not good. That's not good at all. That is not good, actually. Yeah, they managed to turn. They killed a lot of my cow there. That was not good. Okay, let's charge these bladesmen here. They're almost at full strength. So let's bring them down if we can. This should once again be devastating. <laughs> oh, look at the damage these guys are doing. Oh my lord, they're just too tough. Yep, 61 guys remaining. Totally almost wiped them out. Oh my lord, my cab is getting stuck here. I'm not paying attention to these squires. Let's see if we can charge these guys again. Uh, let's try a charge on the pikes in the back because they're forming up not they're forming up with their backs against us. Let's see what we can do against them. Good job there. We need to be quick here though. We need to be quick as hell. They're not turning. They're having their sides to us. There we go. But they push out. Oh, they're turning quickly. Get the hell out. We're going to lose a lot of cam here, I think. Yep, we are. We'll get some kills on them, though. Uh, Thirty-four percent of their army has been killed. We're doing well. We're doing well. Really would like to wipe. Let's go for a charge against the Radim Spears here. And see if we can charge these pikes here. We didn't lose that many units there. The pikes are the worst thing here. There we go. Get out. Let's take a look at their stats. Nine attack for a pike unit. That's insane. That's insane, actually. That's really, really elite stats right there. Their defense is not that high, but their attack is absolutely insane. Well done. Get out. More pikes there. Going for another charge on the spearmen. We're doing some work. We're doing work. We're doing everything we can to stop them. Trollman champions are now in control over the ram. That was a pathetic charge. Try and destroy those um, trollman champions instead. Going for a charge against them. Um, 
yeah, the pikes are... Their stats are insane, actually. Nine attack for a pike, that is absolutely redonkulous, actually. They're not the best pikes in the game. Uh, absolutely not, but a stat like that, a nine attack for a pike, that's elite level attack right there. And these are just some starting Radrim troops. <laughs> the pikes are going to be so problematic for us. We need archers here. That's what we need. We need archers on the in this front. Uh, there's no question about it. Uh, archers are the best thing we can have against units uh, sh such as the pikes. Because their defense... They have three armor. That's not a, a lot at all. The archers are the best offense against those kinds of troops. They're really blobbed up here. Want to try and avoid charging them. Go for their other spearmen. We're going for the Trollman Champions if they're chasing my Royal Sworn Guard. Hopefully we can get a charge off in their backs. There we go. Wonderful. Go for a charge on these guys. If you can charge from both sides here, we should be able to wipe them out. Almost. The Squires might get killed in the process here, but they're doing well. They should surely destroy this unit, I think. Almost. Okay, they're battering down our gates. Interrupt them then. Ten remaining. They're tough. They're tough, those guys. They really are. Go for the Serpent Bladesman. There we go. Imrail is doing a lot of damage here. He's performing like a beast for us. I mean, the attack stats, 13 attack as well, that's really high. These guys are really offensive. Going for another charge on this space while we can. There we go, that was a good charge. Can we finish off these, these guys, please? Even though they have 9 remaining, they're still tough. Just get rid of them. I think that was enough. Now they still have four guys remaining. That's how tough they are. Let's see if you can charge these guys here. You can charge these serpent bladesmen there, perhaps. Squires, get out. I didn't get too many kills there. Get out, Imreel. Want you to interrupt these guys over there. Oh. No, don't get caught up in those pikes. Oh, that was not good at all, was it? We lost a lot of guys there to the pikes. They wanted to fight the pikes there, and that is something I do not want to do. The squires are probably going to die soon. Three remaining squires only. Uh, we did some damage to these guys. They're broken. Good job there. Chase them away. If you can. Get rid of them. We want, don't want them to return. Really want to destroy these serpent bladesmen if we can. Ideally what we should probably do now. We, I think we're going to do this. We're going to march out with the forces that we have. Uh, quickly. And create a front line instead. With the pikes and those units. So that we can charge them in the back with the, the cavalry. And possibly break them that way. Get the troops out of the settlement. And create a front line with them. Against their last remaining troops. They, we have killed 53% of their force. Get the guys out of here. The Bene Marines. Ideally I want you to throw at the pikes. If you can. Because those guys are tough as hell. With a 9 attack stat. It's absolutely broken. It's really, really, really a lot for a pike unit. And we need to be careful with those guys. Here comes some warband. We do not want to waste our ammunition on those guys. The pikes are the ones we want to use our ammunition. But if they're going to send forth one unit, we're going to take them down and cleanly break them and destroy them. So... Start front landing against them, and Imrahil is going to charge these guys in the back. Go for charge. 
Oh, don't pause it. There we go. These are just warband, even though they're also quite great. Sending the Haronda Mercs as well. They're shaken. Pop the ability. Really want to break these guys if we can. The Harondo footmen should be able to wipe them out cleanly. One more charge should do it here. Should be able to break them. If they're going to charge. I'm not sure they are. No, they're not even charging. They're wavering. Come on. Ah, they're broken. Good. They're sending forth the bladesmen now. No. Oh, they had two units here. Okay, that's why. Form the lines. As long as the pikes are not doing anything, we're not going to use our ammunition on the javelins. Go for charge on the serpent guys now. These guys are tough. So if we can charge these guys down and possibly break them, that would be beautiful. There we go. Not sure it's going to break them though. They're too tough. Yeah, they're broken. They are broken. And the bladesmen, are, everyone is broken. Wonderful. Here comes the next bladesman. Let's... Uh, form up for them as well and annihilate them. The pikes are not doing anything and the pikes are the problem. They are the scary ones in this battle. They really are. They're already shaken. They shouldn't last that long. I don't think. Going for a charge. Here they come with some serpent placement. They're returned. That's how good their morale is. We should really use the... Oh, that was not good. We should really try and use the squires to try and chase down routing troops. To make sure that they're not going to return. We're going to do that. Make sure that we chase them down. Here come some showman champions. It's only four of them, so nothing to worry about, I don't think. Even though they can still do a lot of damage being just four guys. But they're already surrounded, so I'm feeling fine. Lebeni Marines, I want you to fire at these pikes, if you can. It's dangerous to charge these pikes. Even though we might charge them in the back, it's still dangerous because they're really tough. There we go, we've defeated them. Empty your javelins on these pikes here please they're weak to fire from javelins so keep throwing at them why have you stopped go forwards give them a solid volley here there we go okay we managed to kill some of them there let's try and surround them with these two units because they're, they're just standing there doing nothing. So we're going to try and surround them. Go in. Imrahil, prepare to... If we surround them here, we should surely be able to defeat them. It's a little bit too dangerous to get a charge off here. Because these guys are too close. They're actually... Okay, we're going to charge this unit down then. This one's still not doing anything, so ignore those guys. Pop the ability. With their 9 attack, they're gonna carve through my Lebeni Marines. So, Imrahil needs to help out here with a charge against these guys. These guys should break with a charge, I think. Because they only have 36 guys. Come on. That was a good charge. Got a lot of kills. Remember to get the hell out of there quickly, though. No, they're still eager. They're still eager. They're not even close on breaking yet. That's how good they are. Not to be all winning. But they're doing a lot of damage to us, these pikes. These pikes are carving through my men. Like butter. These guys are too tight to charge. We need to wait. Wait the, the battle out here. Wait. Let, okay, here they come, the rest of them. Focus this unit down. Imrahil, you need to try and charge these guys down. If you can. Victory seems certain. Yep, these pikes, look at the damage they're doing to my men here. They're shredding through my guys. It's dangerous to charge in against these guys, but we have to. We have no choice. There we go. You need to move out immediately, though, Imrail. 
it's really important that you do. Oh, this is close battle, actually. It's getting close, this one. Squires, where are you? You're over there. Uh, I want you to charge as well, because we don't really care for you. But you need to charge. Look at them, they're just pushing through my guys here with these. Even though we have these guys on the flank, it doesn't look great. These pikes, man, they're so bloody tough. Imrael, you need to try and charge again. Nine attack, that's insane. Come on, Imrael, you need to charge them in the back while we still have time. Because these guys are going to win this engagement. That's how tough they are. They're just pushing through and destroying everything in their path. Imrahil, you're the last hope we have. You need to do a charge and you need to disengage immediately. Oh, that was a terrible charge. Absolutely terrible charge there. That was a terrible charge. We need to charge, but we need to kill them. They're destroying my guys here so hard. Come on. Better charge this time. That was a little bit better. Move out, move out. There we go. They're turning around now. Oh my lord. Oh. I think we're going to win, but uh, it's uh, a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be because these pikes, man, these flipping pikes, they're deadly as hell. They're so deadly. And uh, Imrahil could die soon. If we don't take care with him, we need to send these guys in as well, I think. Squires, let's do a charge on these guys. Victory seems certain. They're so sure of the victory here. There we go. They're shaken now. We have them surrounded. Come on, guys. They're smashing my unit so hard. But they don't have a lot of men left now. You're not even gonna perform a charge, are you? No. Come on, guys. There we go. Oh, Lord. It was actually what? Battle is over, but they're still a, they're still shaken. They're not broken yet. How is the battle over? There we go. Now it's over. Oh, exit the battle. Oh my Lord. That was tough. It was really tough, actually. Royal Swan Guard, you perform like monsters as always. Uh, Gone the Spearman, one guy, 11 kills. Well done. Oh lord. This was tough. Those pikes, man, they're dangerous. But we won the battle, barely. Uh, we need to send reinforcements here if we want to keep Tirithoros. We have archers on the way, so we're going to send them in there. Well done, Imrahil. Close victory here. Jesus. Those pikes, man. They almost cost us this location. The Haradrim troops are not to be underestimated. They are causing us so much issues at the moment. We need reinforcements here. We need more troops. We need everything we can get down to Tirithoros and the Haradrim front line. Let's execute them. They might besiege us. No, they didn't besiege us. Thank you for that, Harad. We didn't want another besieging here. Enemy camp sacked. Yes. And, uh, okay, we have a lot of cash. Did we start? We did start the port at Londgalen. Good. You guys have told me that we should go for that. Uh, we should spend some money on troops. Uh, Tarnost. Laminon Clansmen, give me them. Over here, give me the Clem Laminon Clansmen and the Ringlow Swordsmen. Fanilond, anything. Lebanon Marines. Send these spears into Tirithoros. Send these units into Thirithoros. We need them here. This is a better garrison. We're going for the library here. We're going to need to go for the garrison quarters and uh, the military buildings here as well. Because we're going to need them. Queue stalled. We did stall some of the buildings as well. Very good. Outstanding. We're allied to Dale and the Woodland Realm. Wonderful. Good. Where did you spawn? Fanilond, yeah, of course. We sent them to Tirithoros instead. We need to try and train troops. These Lebene Marines. Uh, we're going to go back first of all here. Um, going to Minas Ithil, send Denethor back to Minas Tirith. And let's send these guys to Eastern Askiliath. The boats are back. 
right. over there. Let's go and talk to the High Elves, shall we? Get trade rights with them. Accepted. An alliance. Accepted. Just accept it. Thank you. Thank you. Impossible. Nice doing business yes. with you. And uh, we have... Whoa, we got an Alcarondas. That's actually huge. That's huge. This fleet is actually competent now. Let's move back with the fleet. We want to get back here as soon as we can because we want to block um, Adunaim invasions if they try to come here. You are going into the fort though. Uh, we want to block off Adunaim invasions if we can. Um, can we get Lebanon Marines here? Yes, we can. We should try and retrain these guys instead. It's going to go quicker if we do that. So we're going to keep these guys here and retrain them instead. Q stall. We are the strongest faction. Faction announcements. New family member. New family member. Imrahil is getting a lot of new traits. Uh, he deserves them. He's a good guy. He has done a lot of well, good things for our nation this far. Uh, anything we can get at Minas Tirith. Any type of units. Ringlow swordsman. Cheap. Get them. They're quite effective. The pikes, though. No, the pikes are better. Four attack. Look at the, look at the difference. Four attack. The Haradrim had. Nine attack. Nine. That's insane for a pike unit. Um, who do we get? Ringlow or pike? Ringlow swordsman, perhaps. Get the Ringlow swordsman. Get them. Get them there. This uh, Rohiric army here is actually quite disturbing, if I do say so myself. Uh, maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should try and retrain some troops instead if we can afford it. Um, Faramir. I want you to lay siege on Moranon with your army and I kind of want to retrain some troops here can we this <laughs> this Rohiric army if if this army stays here we're gonna teleport them away turn 20 if they're still there we're gonna teleport them away uh, they shouldn't be able to block us in like this because we cannot go past them here so um, Let's try and send back these units to Minas Tirith. See what we can do in terms of the training. It's quite costly. Can we? No. Okay, we're gonna at least retrain them. Send them back to the front line after. Uh, with us besieging Moranon, I think these guys are not going to. They're probably gonna go away from here, I think. So that is good. Okay, we are. Getting buildings, Fanelon, land clearance, we're getting roads here, almost done, that's good. Go for the land clearance, these roads here, four turns away. We're queuing up the roads there, and we want them, they're quite effective as well. Uh, Kellenbell, over here, ideally we would like to get the mines whenever we can. The port here is going to be crucial though, it's going to help a lot. And cheap land clearances here and there is also going to help. <clears throat> we're starting to make some serious cash now. And over here, we're at 70% public order. We might need something here to aid them. We might need to send back a general. Perhaps Duin here is going to be the guy that goes back there to keep the peace, I think. He's the least effective of these generals. Uh, but we want to send him back after we have taken the Moranon, ideally. Oh, Lord. There's a lot of things happening in this campaign. Um, I think you should go back and scout over here instead now. Against the Haradrim forces. Uh, we don't have the men to take Baran Horn at the moment. We kind of want this place to stay rebel for the moment. Because uh, the Adonaim. We're going to port with the Adonaim if we take this one. And that's going to create another front line. With yet another faction. Uh, so we do not want to take Baran Horn at the moment. The best thing would, that could happen if, if Harad was the faction that went for these. And wasted a lot of their troops at Baran Horn instead. That would be better for us. Let's end a turn. Oh boy, oh boy. There's some tough battles happening with our other armies at the moment. They are tough. Those pikes, man. They are absolutely insane. And that's an early tier unit with a 9 attack for a pike. That's. I need to play Harad because those pikes, man, they're OP. I would consider them overpowered. Moranon besieged. The Black Gate of Mora has long stood unassailed, opposing all who would enter into the Dark Lands. Now, however, there is a force deeming themselves sufficiently strong that has determined to make war on the Dark Lord himself. Brave indeed, 
or perhaps foolish, is this host, for the gates of the dark land are unforgiving. The greatest of all walls in Middle-earth, they are wrought of black iron and defended by a vast host. To assault such a formidable fortification is to face great peril. Even now, the drums rumble behind the black gate, as the might of Mordor prepares to crush all those who have dared to come before it. Vale of Darwinian, 900 gold coins. Yes. Yes, my lord. Please. Yes. Yes. Go for the... the yeah, Bell accepted. Let's try an alliance. No, they didn't want an alliance. Okay, but we got the 900 gold coins. Mission success. Good. And we have started. We're getting troops here and there. Really nice. Uh, yeah, give me the axe throwers here. We want them. We need them as soon as we can. We haven't started the roads here though, but uh, we're probably going to start the roads here in the next turn. We want to have these roads, so we're going to save the cash. Still number one, except financial, of course. A yeah, new mission, we did that. Construction port, Minas Tirith, Master Masons, Pelagir, Master Masons. Um, how much would the roads give here? Quite a lot, actually. Quite a lot. Uh, we're going to wait, though. Uh, actually, we're not going to go for the roads here. I kind of want to get these buildings at Pelagir, Minas Tirith, and Dolarmoth. If we can. We're still getting it here. Those three regions are crucial because they're large. Karandos is actually one of those regions as well that we should invest in the Master Masons. Um, Governor's Quarters here. We need more recruitment slots. Go for that. We're going to queue up the mines instead of the roads here at Kellenbell. They take four turns. Yeah, they're more, more cheap. But let's go queue up the mines instead. They're more effective. We're going to get them in the next turn. Over here, we're training these guys as well. The mortar armies have been sent back. Uh, as soon as we're ready, we're going to move out with uh, the Kirithungul army towards Ursastolad. Mordor Orcs of Gundabad. Okay. And one more turn until the library. We need the town guard, the garrison quarters we need here. As fast as possible. And the newly recruited troops that we're getting. These Lebeni Marines here can go into the fort. They're, they're going to be needed here. That's a, we can be sure of that. Imrahil, you don't need to stay inside. Get, get a tower here at uh, this border here and go back inside to Tirithoros. Um, four turns until they sally forth but we're having some company here with some armies. Okay, we still have pikes here so I'm feeling confident. Ostithil, what could we go for here? The mines are not that great. Land clearance here. How about the roads? No, the roads are not going to do anything. Port would be nice, but the land clearance is the best option here, I think. We're going to start that building whenever we can afford it. We should also queue up some more troops here, I think. Rangers, we're not going to go for the rangers just yet. Uh, pikes and swords. Uh, can we get the Pinat Gelling We can get the Aether Yeoman here as well. That's nice. We're going to get them whenever we can. We cannot get the Pinat Gelling Cavalry here, though. Uh, which is sad, but uh, we can get them over here, I think. Tharagrondos, can we get them here? No. Anulond? No. Kirithior, then? Yes. We can get the Pinoth Gellin Cavalry here. We should get the stables here. Absolutely, it's going to be worth it. Uh, Pinoth Gellin Cavalry is a great cavalry unit. Probably one of the best that we can have as a faction. So, we want to have them. Um, diplomats... Keep going forwards on your journeys. Yes, as you and let's add a turn again. Oh, I forgot about the ships. I forgot about the ships. We cannot do that. We cannot forget about... If I... That could have been crucial. The other nine Could have landed a fleet at my island there. Now. They can. I could have done a mistake here. Because every turn... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Just because that I fucking forgot the chips. 
for one turn. The... Oh, my lord. And I think we need to send someone back. You're gonna have to go back to Gellibrin. Um, just because of the fact that we forgot about the ships for one turn. They have landed an army here. And we're not gonna be able to hold there. There's no way. Uh, oh my lord. We need to get generals over here. Bloody hell. We need to destroy this fleet. This Adenheim fleet needs to die. There we go. Finally a victory against their fleet. Uh, we need to ship troops over here. We need to try and do something here. We need a cavalry unit against those guys. A lot of new buildings got done this turn, which is great. Um, beautiful. Give me the garrison quarters here. Good relations with Rowinion. A lot of new troops. Beautiful. Let's move these newly retrained troops to the Kirithungul region. And as soon as we can, we're going to move out with this army towards Irchester Lord. Uh, spy. Because look, it's totally undefended. We could just go in with the Ballista here and wipe this place out and take it. But uh, we want every troop with us here before we do that. Um, we did get more troops done, didn't we? These Lebanon marines, get them into the fort. We cannot reach, we should go into this fort instead, I think. Try and go there. We did get some more troops here, Ringlow swordsmen. And guys, send them over to the front lines, please. Get them down here. What we need to do, we need to send Elfir over, and this guy over, perhaps. Uh, yeah, he's over there. Take Ergirion with you. If we can send this guy with us as well, if we can reach, we're gonna send him in. Yep, we can. Good. Okay, we managed to save Gubel Tolfolas, I think. What do they have? Phalanx? Oh. God, these troops are tough, man. They are. They're really tough. War bows, easy de defeated. Archers, these three units are easily... The pikes and phalanx. That's tough, though. Well, did we start the mines? We haven't started the mines yet, but uh, we should be earning a lot more cash now with the roads. Look at that. Look at how much money we're earning from Lin here now with the roads here. Crucial that we got the roads done there. And these are done in two turns. And did we, did we actually get a mission? Um, which realm of Angmar? Uh, we're going to talk to them. Get the bonus yes, gold here. Yes, you have Trade rights. You have there we go. We 300 gold coins is not a, a lot, but it's always tomorrow. something. And we have the merchant's guild here. We really want a merchant that we can, so we can send him up to, to the pipe weed resource in the north. But we need to fight this battle here against Nalunarak. Uh, it's uh, gonna be tough, but we have cavalry, we have Elfir with the Royal Swan Guard. And that's why it's so important that we have this fleet here at all times. We need to block these invasions from happening. But for now, let's go in and let's destroy Captain Nalunarak with Elfir of the Lamroth. Okay, let's do this, shall we? Three generals. Um, we might lose a general here, because these guys are unfortunately going to have to frontline against those hard, uh, strong Adonaim troops. Let's uh, prepare to move down slowly. These spears, we could, we could make some use out of them. We could slowly walk over here. We might get a solid flank in there against these guys. And uh, we're going to want to try and do that with them. That could actually do some solid things for us. Cavalry, you need to flank. The, the, the two generals we have are tough. They are really tough, so they should be able to... Uh, those phalanxes are blocking the path for us. We need to charge these war bows and the archers. Form up in the back. Yeah, we, need to, we need to engage them. We need to engage them. Um, so that my cav can work freely here. Going for a charge against the war bows, though. Let's 
We need to be quick here. There we go. That was a good one. We killed the general as well. Catch these crossbow spears. That was a good shot. That was a good shot. We have caught the crossbows. That is good. Boarding pikes and phalanx are chasing after me. Um, just kite around them. See if we can go in for a charge against the crossbows instead. We have ability with him. We should all we should really use this guy in the front lines instead. We should really do that. Go for the war bows. Elfir is more suited for a frontline task than sitting governor. Can we avoid these pikes? Ah, oh, we got caught there with one guy, but uh, one guy is not going to do. There we go. That was a solid one. Move out. We need to try and charge down these um, archers as well. Form up over there, Elfir. We're absolutely shredding through their crossbows. They're broken. Tie up these phalanxes. They're charging after me with their boarding pikes. We don't want to take that engagement with these guys. Because they're going to lose hard against them. Another great charge. See if we can get rid of these archers and make them break. There we go. Totally destroyed. Uh, we need to break these guys because they're doing a lot of damage against my generals here. See if we can break these phalanx. They're tough. These guys are really tough units. Go in there. They have 20 defense. Oh, they're turning. They're turning against my cat. We do not want to go in there then. They're turning again. Go back in. No, they're... No, well, I'm not sure what they're doing. There we go. Uh, get out, though. That was a decent charge, but we're losing a lot of guys. No, 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 no. Did we lose the general? The No, he's still alive. We lost one of these guys. Not sure who. The cavalry general's still alive. Who did we lose? We cannot see who, who we lost there. There we go. Who did we lose this day? We did lose a general, but who did we lose? Was it the... Was it Ergirion or was it this guy? I'm not sure. These pikes, man. They're tough. Go over there. I have no idea which general we lost this day. We're going to have to take a look at that. Hopefully it was this guy. He's not that important. How on earth can they form up like this? They're blocking me from here. We cannot charge them. And they're... Oh, they, these guys are good. They're good. Where are the... I'm trying to chase off them, my spears here. Okay. Come on. Okay. Let's try a charge. We need to break them before they do any more harm. Okay, they are broken. There we go. Good. Okay, which general did we lose? Form up over there and we will take a look. The general that has died is going to fight these last boarding pikes. Because he's all anyways going, going to disappear. This No, we lost Ergirion. No, he's still alive as well. No, we, okay, we lost this captain. That's what we lost. Oh, thank the lord. It was only the captain. Oh, thank you for that. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that we only lost the captain. Oh, that's good. That's good news. These guys are still alive. Thank the Lord. Uh, are they glitched out here? Get over there. Get the cab over. Let's destroy them. These guys are still alive. I'm so happy. Going for a front line, and the cab is going to charge them in the back and break them. Going for the charge. These are still pikes, though, so we need to be careful here. They're shaken. Can we break them immediately here? Come on. There we go. Good. Oh, Lord. These pesky other nine forces are scary to deal with. They have a lot of anti cavalry forces. And they're really tough. They are really tough. Kill them all. There we go. Beautiful victory.
We have dealt with that with that army. Good job. We lost a captain, but not a general. Luckily for us, the cavalry performed like beasts. The bodyguards did well as well. Well done, Elfir. Well done. Okay, so we got rid of another invasion. That's how you need to be so uh, ready, man of the hour, Elfir. Yeah, why not? Uh, you need to be insanely ready for invasions from the other nine fleet. Uh, we need to have the ships over here. They're only going to go for Gobel Tolfalas almost, it feels like. So the ships need to be ready here at all times. At all times. Uh, to counter their invasions with their ships. Um, because this is not a strong location. And Chirion, go back inside there for a turn. You can go into the fort if you can reach for one turn at least. And then we're going to ship you over to mainland places. Okay, good victory there. Uh, we're sending reinforcements down towards Tirithoros. We're actually getting some troops down there. We have started the garrison quarters there. It's really quite great, I think. And we have more buildings starting. The, the mines will probably start in the next turn. And we should probably get the port at Tharagrondos as well. What is this? Okay, it's Admiral Sackelthor. He's over here. He needs to die. We need to wipe this general out. He's a tough fleet. This is a tough admiral. He needs to die. Um, hopefully we can keep the peace for at least one more turn. Until he gets in there. There might be a rebellion here. We do not want that. Let's end a turn though. Let's end a turn. We hopefully... Gelebrin is not going to civil revolt me. We need to get that general inside there in order to keep the peace. We don't want to lose that location. We want to keep it if we can. Oh, what on earth was that? I saw a brutal, brutal army from Mordor there. I saw something. Let's take a look. Oh, Lord. New mission Umbar. I fit to block this port. R military unit. We're going to try and do that. Steward defined. From Mordor's great fortresses, armies of the arch enemy march forth in a bid to destroy the people of Gondor and raise the white city to the ground, flying the banner of the great eye from its ashes. All must stand defiant or else Middle-earth will fall alongside Gondor. Denethor, now aware of Sauron's presence in the great stones, treads carefully and is hesitant to use the Palantir for fear of the Dark Lord's trickery. But now... The Southrons stir and the orcish hordes assail. The time for caution and contemplation is not within the hands of the steward. Talking to, taking to the eye with the clear, with the clear goal of defending his people, Denethor resists the power of the Dark Lord and his attempts to destroy the proud Gondorian's mind. Hope seems to be shining down upon the Dúnedain and Middle Earth, and once more the tide of evil will be stayed. Allowing for yet another age of peace. Rioting. It's still only rioting. Good. Get in there. It's going to help. Good. We're going... Um, let's take a look. Did we start the mines? No, we didn't start the mines here. Okay. Um, this flipping... This guy. Admiral Wakas. He... I'm so tired of that guy. He needs to die. Send these guys back home first of all though. You're going into Methrast. There we go. You're going back to the Larmroth. There we go. Good. Uh, these troops. Get them into the fort here. These guys are going into the fort there. And. Uh, send some more. Actually. 365. Take. Yeah. The archers are going to go in there for a turn. They are a lot more costly. We have Utzba here. He's not a problem. We should be able to deal with him with these. Mordor is the most advanced faction. Construction report. A lot of land clearances has been done. Edit Lewin and Kingdom of Dale. Rioting Gelebrin, but we fixed that. Um, two turns over here. Uh, this army is scary, though. It's quite scary. 
but it's not a general and it's a, they have a list of them, but it's not the best army in the world. But this army, we need to try and take this region. I think we should we should attack here into, until they sally forth. I think that's the best thing we could do. And what we could try and do with these guys here is to take it just a lot and hope that this army attacks it just a lot because this army is more suited for defending against this army here. So, um, and look at this Rohirric army, it's totally glitched out here. Come on, go through, pass through my lands, please. We are going to strike. Uh, we need to leave behind a better general. How about... Um, okay, what the fuck was that? What happened? What just happened? Something just happened and what on earth? Someone died. I need to take a look at the replay after this one. Just... Okay, well, I'm not sure. Did we kill a guy here? Was there like a spy there or diplomat that we killed? Okay, well... um, Can you keep the peace? Yes, you can. You are going to attack here. Let's take a look. What do they have inside? A general and three units of all coast. Uh, we have a ballista so we can attack immediately. We're going to do that in the next episode. And take it. And hopefully this army will go and attack us at Ulch as the Lord. I'm not sure what happened there. Someone died. I need to take a look at the replay. Uh, we still have Tirithoros under our control. Um, barely. But now it feels a lot better because we have troops down here that can actually do some work. And we have decent archers down there as well. Uh, boats. Destroy this flipping fleet, please. Yes. And they're utterly gone now. Good. Thank you. Thank you for that. This fleet, though. We need to chase after them. But then again, they could have other fleets on the way, so... Stay there. 1.4k we have to use. Really want to have the... What was the building I was looking for? Over here at Gellibrin. Uh, we're safe now. We're, train we're taking this one. Meeting hall here perhaps. We have the library though. So we really don't need anything here. No, we're going to save the cash. We're going to save the cash. Do we have any mission? Any new mission? Umba. We're gonna block block the port there. Um, yeah, we're gonna do that for a turn. Let's do that. Let's try. It's dangerous though, but we need to try. But that's gonna be all for this episode. And in the next one, we're gonna start off the episode by taking Urchester Lord from Mordor. And then hopefully this army is gonna be lured away and attacking us here. That's the plan. That's what we're hoping for. Uh, we need more troops here at Minas Tirith we should probably try and recruit some troops here actually uh, we need reinforcements we really do um, but it's costly I think we should rangers perhaps rangers and ringlow swordsmen we're going to queue up there okay that's going to be it have a wonderful day goodbye to you all <laughs>